Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. I don't know how this video is going to come out, when it's going to come out, when it's going up. I haven't made a video in a long time. Take that back. I made videos, recorded videos like this, not with this camera because this is new. Uh, well, actually, I actually have recorded videos with this camera, just hasn't. They haven't, they haven't actually made into a video that, you know, clips. But, um, no idea when this will go up, but it'll go up in the next, in my lifetime. Anyways, um, haven't worked on this in a while. YouTube really hasn't seen much. Um, it's a 94 Dodge Colt base, and <laughs> it is set outside for a minute. The first thing that should show that's obvious is this right here. July of 16 is when that shit expired. Um, this should also, the whole entire car is like that. Fender's not so bad, the roof really bad, along with the hood. Um, I mean, it sat outside so long, my decals are completely just gone. Really bad back here. That decal is completely just bleh. This one was uh, a magnet. I don't even know where I found it, but I pretty much just, this is, used to be really bright yellow. And I don't, <laughs> this car is like a screw around car. Um, I mean, everything has its place on here. It's funny. Um, Joined this website, first day I was there, won those stickers, always had them, never had anything to do with them, so I put it on here. Got this out of a car from our impound lot that just got <clears throat> bought by a guy that comes here, he buys them, he gets the titles, and then he sells them to salvage yards, or he has a salvage yard, something like that. We've never got into that. Um, I used to have a big, big thing for MAP. I used to. Um, got these at PRI in Indianapolis. It's for methanol injection or alcohol injection, whatever, but it's hilarious. People just see the big part and like, what the hell? This, because I'm not a liberal, I mean, I'm not an idiot. I've actually had, um, I won't mention race. Not that it really makes a difference, but I've had a uh, group of kids. Couldn't be any older than college age, maybe. Um, I was coming back from working a 12-hour shift at a place called Team Industries Make. Um, clutches, clutch components and stuff like that for Polaris, you know, snowmobiles, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, um, Articat stuff, Rotex or um, Skidoo. I think they made stuff for everybody except maybe Yamaha. Maybe I got that wrong. I don't know. We made all that stuff. So, yeah, coming back home when I lived in Bemidji, I was working in, um, what do they call that, Bagley. Battery things flashing. I mean, I hate these dang GoPros. Anyway, they flipped me off, had the middle finger out the window, honking their horn. Evidently, I was paying their bills, which not really a shocker to me. Um, there's a lot of people around here that really like neons. One's a uh, borderline uh, um, saxophoner, so mud flaps, we'll call them. Um, I have a lot of these, a lot of other DSMs. Shocker because back when I was in high school, which is when I did this, uh, was like my thing. I don't know why, just it was my thing. And then this is when you're really tired and you put window tint on a car, but you cut it the wrong way, so you put it on the outside. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm going to quick wash this thing. It hasn't ran in a minute. Um, there's reasons for that. That's why I'm starting to make videos of it. Oh, that's already popped up. But uh, this is what we got to work with not mounted. Um, this is what we call a CSM. Dodge Colt, Mitsubishi Mirage, Eagle Summit. Um, <clears throat> probably have some of the biggest, I don't know what you'd even call them, assholes, um, secret keepers. It, they just, they put 4G63s in, the, in these things and most of the information's out there but like I'm trying to put an automatic in here. Every single person that has one with an automatic in it will not share the information on what kind of mounts they use or how they went about doing it. It, it, <clears throat> it makes no sense. It's, it's, not, it's illogical 
but that's just the way they are. They just, they absolutely will not share information. If you can message them, they're like, oh yeah, I, I had to have one custom fabbed, and I'm actually thinking about having some made. You know, I'll get back to you when I get that done. And then you message them like months and years later, and they just ignore you. So, I mean, it is what it is. So I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get a battery that's actually not dead in this thing and wash this. You guys don't need to see me wash a car, but I'll do it. Just for the shits and giggles. I'm, uh, by the way, pulling the engine out because I need to figure something out for the mounts. I don't, I don't know, it's stupid because I have, I bought a brand new engine or motor. I bought a brand new OEM Mitsubishi automatic transmission mount for a F and W A33 or whatever the hell it is. So I can put it on there and then make a bracket that mounts to the, f you all see it later, maybe, probably not, I don't know, but I can't find the mount, so it's just like, Anyway, I'm out. Well, did some scrubbing as it's pretty much pouring rain outside. I mean, it looks cleaner. Um, it is, after all, 23 years old or some shit. Some stuff didn't even come out, but 23 year old beater piece of junk. Probably was never intended to even be around this long better nothing so I'm gonna let her dry and yeah let her dry that's about it right now that is all I have to say skipped a few steps here um, well actually I guess not really um, yeah so engines out Biggest pain in my ass ever. Only had to take off part of the shift lever, destroyed that connector, wrecked the rest of that connector, so this whole piece is shot. Um, yeah, you know, great, great fun times. Um, yeah, that was really, really fun. Transmission got so lodged down in that this general region here, I had to take the bolts out of the cross member here just so I could drag it out and I wow I'm a shout out to all my friends that I've helped pull engines, pull transmissions take cars apart, put cars together, go places with them and shit shout out to all you, you the real um, you're the real MVPs that were out here helping me you can see them all right now yep. Every last one of them. But anyways, that's enough of me bitching. I need to get something to drink or something because I am I am over this. So until we see you next time or later in the video. But just so you guys can see the difference here, this is the modified and unmodified. Um, whether or not the video showed. <clears throat> Clearly, see, I modified it. Never claimed to be a welder nor a fabricator, that's for sure. Um, I, believe it or not, I might have not actually done those welds. Um, at the time, it was a buddy, but now he's a, well, I take that back. He is a friend, but he is also now my brother in law. Used to come out here and help me a lot, and he always liked to weld, so I'd be willing to say that's his welding. But could be mine. I know I'm a lot better than that nowadays, but it's been a while. So yeah, there's the side by side. Um, I don't know where it's at, but I bought a brand new OEM mount that goes on top of this mount that on the transmission. And then boom, so this goes on the transmission, then a mount that goes on top of that. But I don't know where I put the frickin' box. It's been rolling around in my 1990. And I just checked that yesterday, it's not in there. So I don't know where it could have went. I'm starting to get pissed because I've, I've had it in my truck or my car so long that the OEM Mitsubishi tape like this that was on the box is like completely white. You can't even, like all the red's almost barely pink. So you can almost 
barely tell what it says. But I thought I might have put it in here, but I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. Um, I am not seeing it. This is, this is, I mean, this is it. This is the mount, but this one I modified earlier to try and fit before I did that whole bracket. It, it's stupid. Um, See, so, I mean, I guess I could use this, but I want to use the new one, so. But yeah, as you can see, all the combination of mounts, that's a manual transmission mount right there. Um, what's left of a motor mount from another car. This is a manual mount. Um, front roll stop. Just stupid stuff. Uh, I don't know what must be an engine wiring harness from something probably from my original Colt yeah because it's all torn um, that so I can modify that by now probably completely dead battery yeah I don't know what to tell you guys um, I mean, it's got to be somewhere around here. Check my house; it wasn't there, so it's it's got to be somewhere close.